We're ready up front for you to release the birds. So we've had our macaw flyover here at Zoo Tampa for quite a while, so our birds knew one specific flight path for many, many years. So it was challenging to teach them a brand new flight path. So we started with one bird at a time, and then we went to two, and we selected their pairs that they would choose to uh, be in naturally in their flock. And then we worked towards increasing that. So we started with two, then we went to four, to six, to eventually now we're flying anywhere from nine to 11 birds at one time. Good job! We use positive reinforcement, choice-based training. Um, so we made our training very fun and we worked in small increments. So it did take a lot of time um, to build up their confidence with their new flight. And their flight is a little bit longer, so they had to build up their stamina as well. All right, we're going to send them then. Sending, go! The birds love to fly. They're excellent flyers. It's what they do naturally. So we just capitalized on that and they had a blast training. It was really fun to see their unique individual personalities come out. And some birds learned a little bit quicker than others. Um, but it has taken a quite a while, but they've had a lot of fun and we just worked step by step. One of our frequently asked questions is why don't the birds fly away? And that's a good question because they can. And we teach them that it's a lot more fun to be hanging out with us. Uh, they know us really well. We're like their family. So they definitely find being with us comfortable um, and fun. And that's our job is to make training fun and exciting. And so they have chosen to stick with us and keep on learning. Good job. The team and I have had so much fun out here together uh, working on this project. Um, we have at times come to tears because we've been so excited for the birds and happy for them. Um, so we just really enjoy being a part of this project.